since I've got a no I've realized we all care about things that don't really matter But now we will try to keep our heads above the water But what if we don't wanna? If we don't wanna? If there's something you wanna do, just do it Don't let your head stop your heart from moving If there's someone you wanna talk to, talk to Who knows who we'd be if we just live more and more welcome back to the channel welcome back to the rose house thank you guys so much for tuning into another video thank you to my old subscribers and to my new subscribers welcome to the family now this video is a long awaited fall video i know i know you're probably side eyeing me right now and you're like girl you took too long but i am so busy i'm trying to get these content out but here we are today so in this video you'll see me decorating my home for fall i'm doing minor minimalistic decor for fall well it's probably not minor to some people but i think i went pretty easy this year with the fall decor so starting out i have my my little um what do you call this now like my little vase that i decorated and that vase was on my dining room table and i just added some fall leaves and some pumpkins to it now as you can see my mom and i we are just cleaning off our breakfast table and we're gonna use the vase that was on the dining room table this time around on the breakfast table so we are going to go ahead and set the table and as you can see i'm using the same placemats listen guys all i can say is reuse your decor regardless of the season reuse them in your home you do not have to go out every time and buy new decor these items that i'm used i think the only thing i purchased were these napkin rings everything else i had and i've had them for years upon years so you're gonna see a full tour of that breakfast table now do y'all remember my video a few videos ago when i went to dollar tree i'm gonna set up my little dollar tree what is this thing called pedestal i don't even know what it's called but anywho i'm setting it up and you guys are gonna see what i'm doing with this five dollars so if you want to go check out your dollar tree go ahead i paid five dollars for this look at that mm, just so sleek perfection exactly what i was looking for I found this TikTok video while scrolling on TikTok and you know the algorithm is algorithming. So I found this video where they used the foam pumpkins and made a whole uh, decor piece for their, regardless of where you want to put it. I'm putting mine. I made two. So I'm putting one on my dining room um, table and I'm putting one on my island. I got a huge pumpkin and that's in my previous vlog for my Hobby Lobby haul. So I'm just sticking in some picks you've seen those pics already in the hall as well and i'm just filling in this pumpkin and making a beautiful vase for my dining room table now i may not have the time to indulge in a lot of diy projects but i try my best well 
i try to do diy projects they have to be pretty easy though i don't want to go into the whole you know carpenter thing and all of that i don't want to go into that but something like this i'm all for it and i absolutely love how this turned out now when you feel this pumpkin you may not know that it's um styrofoam but it's actually a foam pumpkin it's a little bit hard to put some of the picks in but listen we know a girl have strength and then something over here yeah, so so i'm just adding my additional picks you can get these picks as i said in your local hobby lobby and also the pumpkins as well look at that oh my god y'all i am so proud of myself like look at that look at that and thank you mommy mommy was there directing the whole thing telling me where to put stuff and all of that look at that look how full it is oh listen once i open my door and i see this i'm like it looks so welcoming look at that look at the colors look at the contrast look at the different items like beautiful so this uh runner it's a small little runner that you see underneath the pumpkin and some placemats i bought those in hobby lobby years ago but i did went there i did add um these placemats you'll see that in my haul and this is just my little setup i promised my husband i wouldn't go crazy with the decoration um this year because normally my fall decor my fall tablescape would be crazy but with this dining table that we have now because it's not brown i don't want to fill it up too much i want it to stay as minimalistic cute chic modern as possible so i have to you know tone it down a notch now this is the other pumpkin that i'm making right here and you'll see exactly where i place this one For now, let's say bye bye to my olive floral arrangement. I'm gonna change the look of my island. I wasn't planning on doing that, but I'm like, why not? So that's exactly where I'm gonna put this pumpkin decor. Now, this pumpkin is smaller than the other one and um it has the same items in it the same picks but of course as i said it's smaller so less picks and stuff like that now this is me playing around trying to see how i like um the look i change it probably over six times just playing around this is my this is not my kitchen so i have to be careful remember i have kids and the island is where we eat breakfast lunch and dinner so i want to make sure it looks good but at the same time it's functional it's not in our face it's not in our space and all of that so i'm just gonna be fixing it until i come up with an idea or i decided to be like okay let's take it off completely you'll see i'm not saying anything stick around if you are this far in the video please go ahead and like the video please go ahead and subscribe if you haven't subscribed as yet all right like you are this far in the video so just go ahead and do that
we went in for the big boy listen i got this decor piece in home goods years ago probably 2018 it was a staple in my old home and i haven't used it since i moved it was on my bookcase at the top because it's all glass crystal looks absolutely rich so took that down and that's what i use and you guys will see that too i'm gonna show you guys everything don't think i'm just gonna do this and not show you the final now I'll give you like a tour tour okay now let's move on to this little piece i didn't know what i wanted to do with the extra picks these rose gold picks i have them i think th these are my christmas picks but i have two of the other you can see those other picks with the fall colors i had those left over and i'm like why not just use this thing this little vase was outside on my um patio and we took it inside and clean it up throw away what was in it and now i'm just decorating it like guys reuse the stuff that you have please i'm begging you reuse your stuff be creative if you have any 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 questions at all feel free to dm me like i've been talking to people in my dm ig the rose house one feel free to dm me like i'll answer you i promise you that may take a while but i'll answer you so this is just me just doing my little decor playing with my craft my creativity and look at that so cute you'll see where i put that moving on to the next big boy now this is my bookcase i haven't started decorating my bookcase as yet we are gonna change it in the future and just do a lot of stuff with it but for now i am just many 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 videos ago i said this is where i display my nicest items because i want to see them i want to remember what i have but for fall it was looking a bit too busy and i hate when my environment is looking busy i need it to be subtle just cool calm and collective so i decided to clear it off and use a few decor pieces um for fall well not only for fall but just to get the whole fall feel as well so you'll see me add little pumpkins here or there and you know the colors and everything has to match here we go guys we are at the reveal take this in okay take this in so this is our breakfast table enjoy This is my sideboard behind the breakfast table. Now, this is my wine area. But because I haven't found the decor piece that I want to use there, I'm like, why not fold it up? And that's exactly what I did. I fold it up. So this cute little leaf bowl thingy, I just put some miscellaneous pumpkins in there. I bought these pumpkins in Target. I've had these uh, pine cones for a minute now. And then I just incorporated my blue, my little blessed pumpkin that I got in Hobby Lobby years ago. And that blue item I got in Home Goods a few videos ago. Moving on to my kitchen. So this little decor space is in my kitchen. My fruit basket was here and I moved it. So that's my $5 pedestal from Dollar Tree. I just added some acorns, some little pumpkins this pump this glass pumpkin it actually lights up at night absolutely beautiful love 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 it and then i just added some little miscellaneous stuff to it and i moved my sign it now says meals and memories are made here look how cute that is absolutely love that space and how modern it looks now this is the big reveal of the island so this is the decor piece that i did absolutely love how the colors 
of this space tied in and i also got orange dishwashing liquid um chris told me to get it i've never had orange before it's always green or clear but i think the orange goes perfectly with the whole fall vibes and just look how the colors the contrast of the colors and i had to use my cutting board and my magnolia table book now if you guys remember this uh wall hanging i got this for a hundred dollars at a community it's not a yard sale it's like an investor's yard sale basically so i went there and i picked up a few things that's in another video but this is my sideboard now at my dining table and y'all i blew myself away i absolutely blew myself away with this area these are my little acorns um from where was it dollar tree those are my little acorns and i think i got a pine cone sitting somewhere as well now it's halloween so i had to incorporate a little halloween in it absolutely love that black and white pumpkin did y'all see that just now let me let's rewind to that pumpkin look at this look at perfection so i incorporated my chanel book with my elements of style book the shape of this pumpkin is giving everything and oh my little glass skeletons i absolutely love this table i love the look go ahead screenshot um if you want to do something like this try it out send me photos i'll help you as well absolutely love this look let's call this area my little miscellaneous area now a few months from now you'll not see this chair or this table or anything here we're gonna change it out but this is my little miscellaneous area whenever i'm finished decorating my home i always just throw whatever is left in this little area make it like the free fall area now this is the vase that i um decorated previously you guys can see how beautiful that tied in now we're at my bookcase and y'all didn't even know i had a tom ford book because i turned it around <laughs> but i decided to show it now so this is my blessings jar that i have and then i just use my tom ford book with my cute thankful pumpkin and these little skeletons that i got from the dollar tree the other day absolutely love how this is looking on the bookcase and this is on the bottom shelf of the bookcase this is my uh, pumpkin that i also got from dollar tree and you are gonna see how this bookcase ties in perfectly. We are on the other side of the bookcase. It's the same, well, not really the same thing, just a few changes. But of course, remember it's fall, so we wanna spice up everything. So my thing says pumpkin spice and everything nice. Absolutely love that. I think it's cracked with all the moving, but I can still use it probably another two years. So there you go. I hope you guys are enjoying this decor thus far. My mom and I absolutely worked so hard to get the house ready for fall. I was a few weeks off, but I caught up and I'm absolutely proud of myself. These are my cushions that I got from Costco. And those pumpkin cushions, I got those at a local uh, home decor store in my community in my neighborhood um so i just have this uh 
in my sofa i'm not doing too much because of the kids and because we just want to sit and relax and chill so those are the only cushions that i'll have for now i'll probably go in and get some inserts and some covers off amazon but if i do i'll surely update you all now i did go ahead and change out my towels from my oven and right now i just have my um, halloween towels up and after halloween i'll go back to my fall towels because i have a few fall towels that i can throw in there here or there if y'all remember last year if you've been with me since we restarted our youtube last year i went into joanne's and got this skeleton soap and this is now in our powder room this is the dining table listen beautiful i love it i'm gonna shut up now so you guys can take this in We have come to the end of our fall decor 2023 video. Oh my God, I feel so accomplished. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys absolutely loved my decor as much as how we love it. And go out there if you need to get stuff, buy stuff, but go the cheaper way. If you need to get stuff, go grab some stuff, decorate your home get into the fall spirit like y'all i absolutely love fall it's my favorite season i love all the pumpkin spice i love the apples the cinnamon i love it so i need one favor from you all if you guys enjoy this video or learn something from this video please go ahead and like share this video with your friends and thank you all for watching another video from the rose house we appreciate you all so much and stay tuned for the next video until then happy fall and i wish you an absolutely safe rest of the year